All right, welcome to another episode of Wiki Kitchen. Today we're gonna do a harissa grilled veggies. Very simple when you have the harissa made. So be sure to check out this link right here. Get it? To make the harissa before you start this recipe. You can buy store-bought harissa, but this one is, is so nice. So make sure that you grab this, this recipe. Make it ahead of time. This harissa can be used as a marinade. Also as a dressing, if you do it with a little bit of uh, white wine vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, you could whisk it up, it'd be an amazing dressing also. Uh, but we are going to use it just to really brush on different veggies and grill them up. So, so I have some baby broccoli here. Just cutting off the, the right ends. And you know, when it's grilling season, I love grilling just about any veggies. Cabbages, mushrooms, broccoli, cauliflower, really, really nice, and especially zucchini. Earlier, we went to our garden, and I picked some huge zucchinis. All right, you wanna give them the tour of the garden? Yeah. Okay, you wanna show them what everything is? Cause we need to pick a bunch of stuff. Yeah. You wanna start with the zucchini? Yeah. Okay, show them where the zucchini is. Look. Come on. Look, that one huge. Look down, huge, Ira. Look down, Wow, huge. that one's gotten massive, huh? Should we use it today when yeah. we make recipes? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. pick it. Yeah. It's so big, huh? So what you do is you pick it, you pick it like this, and you twist. Uh, 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 look at the size of that. Whoa. That's a big one. How about more? Whoa. Can we get a couple little ones too? Look, 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 I love. Hey, buddy, should we get a couple little ones? Look yeah. at this one. This one still has a flower on it. So we're gonna take it. Oh, there goes a the flower. We're gonna save some little ones. We're gonna save the flowers over here. Okay, because we're going to use the flowers today, buddy. Any more in here? Look in here. Any more? You know what? I think yeah. if we go over the other side, go over the other side. Whoa! <laughs> that oh. big, huge one. That's a huge one. Should we pick this one? Uh. Whoa, nice. No, that big, huge one. That's another huge one? Oh my gosh, look at how big these are. Look at that one. That one too? Which one? Oh, you want to pick that one too? I'm thinking we can either grill them, we can grill the big ones. When it comes to growing zucchini, a lot of people think that these larger zucchinis tend to be a little bit bitter and not as taste, uh, tasty, but when we cut into this, you'll see when the seed bed is quite tight still, it still means that they're not too old and you still get that nice sweetness that even a smaller zucchini would have carried with it. So, so let's grab a bowl here. I'm gonna go ahead and just oil these up. A little bit of black pepper. Okay, I'm not gonna use too much sodium because there is a good amount of sodium in the harissa. So we're gonna get these ready and we're gonna get these mushrooms ready also before I dig my hands in there. All right, so I have some king oysters. I'm just gonna slice these down the middle. Smaller ones I'll keep whole. All right, you can score them if you wish on the bottom. That's really nice as well, if you're going to pan fry them. So let's toss these up. Let's add a little bit of harissa in here. And then I'm gonna dilute a little bit of this harissa also to brush on as they're grilling, but we're gonna get them started. Start absorbing some of this flavor right now. So just coat those real nice. Make sure that, you know, you get in all of those crowns of the broccoli. It's gonna take on a lot of that flavor. We're just gonna set that on the tray as these are ready. Looks delicious. You can let them sit, you can marinate them for a little bit overnight if you wish. A little bit of oil, another small scoop of harissa. Just making sure you're coating those mushrooms fully here. up my hands real quick. All right, so these zucchini, let's check these out. It's the first of the season. Just gonna cut the ends off. I'm gonna cut these in planks, okay? That way we can really see. Oh, that's gorgeous. You know, 
those are nice. See, the seed bed is still quite tight. These are the first of the season, so they're gonna be very, very sweet, which I'm excited about. It's amazing, I mean, it's so rewarding to be able to grow your own veggies, you know, just, you know, especially when you have kids, to really help them make that connection between their food. Even if it's the smallest little garden box in your apartment, I mean, just being able to make that connection between seed to it actually fruiting and having that on the table is an amazing experience for, for everybody, but especially children, you know? So these are such nice zucchinis. All right. Have all those sliced zucchinis. And add some olive oil on there so it grills up nice. Some black pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit in this bowl. Just have diluted a little bit here. That way you can spread it on a little bit easier. Oh, this the harissa too is so aromatic. All these fresh toasted spices in there. Let's get a little bowl. I'll get some more harissa, add some oil in it, whisk it up. That way we can be using a little brush and be brushing it on while it's grilling. Good to go. So now that we have all our components, let's get it on the grill. All right. Once you get your grill ripping hot, it is now time to grill. This is one of my favorite things to do, especially in the warmer months, even in the colder months. Living in Austin, I grill all year round. So let's go ahead and add these baby broccolis on there. Just so good. All right, we'll get those babies going. Gonna get some nice smokiness. These things are massive, huh? All right, let's let those grill for a little while. But first, let's be sure to kind of brush this harissa on this side since they're gonna be flipping in a minute. And turn the broccoli. The broccoli burns probably the fastest. Chars up nice. So we're just gonna turn that over. All right, that should be good to go in just a minute. All right, let's check them out. They're looking nice. Just kind of turn those over. All right, let's check these out. See how they're going. Ain't getting there. A little bit longer. There's definitely hot spots in a grill, so make sure you know your grill when you're using it. All right, these broccoli are done. Whew, a little smoky. Oh, look at that, that is so nice. These broccoli are done, we're gonna add those to the platter. And all these little charred bits, oh, that's so nice. Let's flip these mushrooms. Just make sure they don't fall through the cracks there. All right, let's flip these zucchinis. Those are looking good. Looking real good. Smells so good with that, that harissa cooking away. Since we have a little bit more of this harissa, let's go ahead and add that to the zucchini. Zucchini is gonna absorb quite a bit because it's quite a porous vegetable. Fruit, I should say. But since we have it, we might as well just slather it on. Using some grilled veggies are absolutely great for any kind of side dish to accompany really most meals. But it adds that next level of flavor with that char and that smokiness, you know? I mean, something that is so delicate, like zucchini, grilled zucchini is by far one of my favorite ways to prepare it. So I'm just making sure that, you know, because these planks are quite big, you wanna make sure that you're cooking all the way through. You can tell when they're done, you know, it's softened quite a bit, right? So let's check those out. Those are almost there. I like to see those grill marks, so I'm gonna keep them on just for another minute. These mushrooms look like they're pretty done. 
a lot of people tend to take them off a little too soon from the grill. You know, I love those little crispy pieces with the mushrooms and same thing with the broccoli that we got over here. We want to find that with those mushrooms and also a little bit of the crispiness around the edges of this, uh, this zucchini as well. So we're going to let it cook for another couple minutes. All right, these are looking good. Yes, those mushrooms are definitely done. Look at that, look at that. that those little crispy pieces, that's what you want. Oh, look at that, that's, that's what you want. See that? That sort of bubbling of the skin there, of the zucchini, that's where the flavor is. We're just gonna take these off. Check out this last one. Oh, it's nice, very nice. Yeah, so good. So this is what it's all about when it comes to cooking Wicked Healthy. You don't have to give up the grilling. You still get that sort of smoky comfort food uh, of what, what we're used to when we're, when we're growing up with grilling non-plant-based foods. And you know what? You don't need the animals to make a delicious freaking meal. So, you know, this is the way, this is the proper way of eating clean and eating cruelty-free. Starts with the ingredients. Next, it moves on to the technique for flavor. So let's bring these in, shut the grill off. Let's plate these up, we're ready to go. All right, here we go. Some perfect grilled vegetables. Look at these, they get char from the bro on the broccoli and from the mushrooms. These zucchinis are gonna be amazing. We picked them this morning, marinated them, grilled them, and they're gonna be eaten in a matter of minutes here. So let's go ahead and just cut these up. I just like to cut these up maybe in half rather than, especially when they're this huge. It smells so good. I love that smell of fresh grilled veggies. So let's just go ahead and cut these up. That's more of a, a serving right there. I'm just gonna stack them on this tray. Got those mushrooms that we did also. So good. And that crispy grilled broccoli. Oh, that looks absolutely delicious. All right, so I'm gonna do a squeeze of lemon here. That harissa doesn't have any acid in there. So a little bit of acid hitting these afterwards is so nice. We'll do some fresh mint. Just whole mint in there. Same thing with some parsley. Just ripping it, just to, rather than chopping it, gives that freshness. Serve it up with some leftover harissa you may have for those who like it a little bit spicy. And there you have it, harissa grilled veggies. It's one of my favorite applications in working with harissa. Perfect as a marinade, perfect as a sauce to sort of, you know, coat different vegetables to throw on the grill. You can check out this recipe for Harissa at this link. Make sure you follow it. Make sure you check it out and follow it. Why would you follow a link? But go make the Harissa, all right? Here's some grilled vegetables, marinated in Harissa. Absolutely delicious. If you like this recipe and this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. For those of you in the UK, be sure you stop in Tesco and grab one of the Wicked Kitchen items and check them out. Absolutely delicious. Thanks, you all. Have some great grilling ahead. Cheers. Gonna make some grilled veggies. I'm gonna make them grilled. We're gonna grill them. All right. <laughs> <laughs>